Hello my divine kings and queens, I'm back to do another video and today's message what we're going to be going over is your enemies, people who you trusted, people who you loved, people who you really didn't know, right? Today's message is to let you know that these people doubted you, that these people mocked you, that these people gossiped about you, that these people ridiculed and went against you, they threw you to the wolves and did not expect you to come out leading the pack. I'm feeling that for everyone, that we're gonna put them all in the same category because whether they judged or whether they was the, the doers who was a plotting and scheming against you, they're all gonna be placed in one category. For the ones who were judging you, but did nothing to help you, did nothing to aid you, but sat back and gossiped and judged. When you came out leading them pack of wolves, right? And to lead the pack means they threw you to they threw you they threw you and left you for dead. Hmm? They threw you and expected these wolves to tear you up something good. Some wanted to stand by and hear the aftermath and the after the after effect of it, right? But couldn't because you came out leading the pack. Some people who were part of it ran away because they were scared of you. And what running away means, they probably ghost you, probably didn't want to be around you no more. You didn't understand for what reason, why, when things started getting good for you. For the ones who judged, these are the people who were just shocked, right? The ones who judged you, those the ones who you shot when you came out leading the pack because they didn't expect that from everything that they heard. They were never a part of it, but they got wind of, of of what was going on with you and what your situation was. Now, for the ones who were part of the treachery and going against you and the scheming and the betraying, right, and the sabotaging, these are the people who you scared. These are the people who you scared, right? Because to come out leading a pack of wolves, do you know what that mean? That mean you beat all odds. That mean if you was a, was supposed to be dead, if you was supposed to be homeless, if you was supposed to be unsuccessful, if you was supposed to be broke, if you was supposed to be looking bummy, if you was supposed to be out your mind, if you was supposed to be whatever you were supposed to be at in life in order to give these people a story, a joke that they could tell, a gossip that they can have amongst themselves, baby, they couldn't have it. And they didn't get it at the end of the day because you came out leading the wolves. That means... Whatever you did and however God orchestrated this thing to work, he turned the negative into a positive. Hmm? Unfavorable outcome into a favorable outcome that worked in your favor. That means these wolves sat back and took notes from the one who they're supposed to tear up, eat, and spit back out. They taking notes from because that's how God orchestrated things to work for you. A lot of people who will, will never tell you that they was part of these plans, baby. A lot of people who will never tell you that they sat back and judged you and gossiped about you and laughed at your situation. People have so much to say until a person get up out of situation. And then you know why they shot? Because they know that if they was placed in the shoes on the other foot, they would not have been able to come out the way that you did. But they gossip. But the ones who was evil was just so evil that it's like literally they took their time and was very calculated in how they did things. That's why you didn't know until it was just the very end and the damage was already done. And God had to come in and do damage control. He protect you, protected you from your enemies. And let me tell you something. For the ones who was part of the treachery and baby, for the ones who you scared off, you know why you scared them off? Because see, when people send death threats your way, send death spells your way, uh, finance spells your way to mess with your finances so that nothing can work out for you. Jobs won't work out for you. Businesses won't work out for you. Your living situation won't work out for you. Bills won't get paid. You wonder why every time your money on a decrease, you better start praying and you better start getting and cutting people off and doing the process of elimination. Because let me tell you something, there's somebody in your circle 
who got that negative energy, who don't wish well for you, and that's why things not working out for you. As soon as you start cutting these people off, you'll start seeing you, you'll start seeing things restructure itself in it in your life. And God will start to restore you. Do you hear me what I'm saying? But see, at the end of the day, for the ones who you scared and don't and don't look at me and email me and say, Oh, Terry, you crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Because at the end of the day, that means that you're not spiritually awakened. And first and foremost, you don't need to be watching videos like this then. Because just as sure as there is evil, there is good. Where there is darkness, there is light. Where there's a heaven, there's a hell. Where there's God and the heavenly angels, you got the devil, you got Lucifer and his fallen angels. Please don't be fooled, baby. And please don't come with me of the things of which you don't know and speaking that ignorance to me. Because I tell you all the time, we ain't talking about no actual book and all this chanting and all this type of stuff. I don't get deep into that stuff like that. And when y'all bring it my way, I tell you I don't know and don't bring it up to me no more. But for the things that I do know, I do know that people can verbalize things, sweetheart. I do know that when people put their mind on it and they focus and they get up every day and they verbalize it, it's just like manifestation. When we manifest positive things into our life, people can manifest negative things into our life. People can send negative energy our way. You had people, wherever they was watching you, seeing what was happening for you, they were sending death spells your way. They were sending finance spells your way to mess with your finances. Baby, they were sending all type of different things your way to try to see you fail. And when they thought that they was winning, because when they threw you, right, for them to throw you is for them to think that they won, that they had already had their weight. Oh, my God. <laughs> for them to throw you, they had already had it. Like, oh, we won. We got our way with so-and-so. We got our way with Divine King. We got our way with, the, with Divine Queen. You feel me? They of no more use to us. They're no more funny no more. We done laughed ourselves to, out, out of out of jokes. It's it's not funny no more. It ain't nothing that they can do for us. They can't entertain us no more. They're not entertaining anymore. So they threw you for the wolves to have their way with you at the end of the day. Hmm? But see, baby, for them to turn back around and see that now you came out leading the pack. You scared the hell out of these people because when people send death spells your way and then they see you come out of, out of a situation alive and in your right mind, when people send finance spells your way and then they see you coming out of, coming out of a situation, creating generational wealth for yourself, making money that you, that no one in your family has ever made before. They see you looking good. They see you want to come up. They see you want to up and up. You scared the hell out of these people. And for a lot of them who sent things your way or tried to mess with you physically or spiritually or mentally. Don't try to chase after these people when they backed up from you. Leave them because it's the reason why they did that. Because behind the scenes, they knew what they were doing. And it was around you to see if it was working and realize that it wasn't working. Do you get what I'm saying? And for the ones that was judging you, that's up to you whether or not you want to let them back in your life. But understand that they did not lend a helping hand. Oh, let me help out my, my king and my queen. Oh, let me help out my sister and my brother. Oh, let me help out my cousin. Oh, let me help out, help out uh, 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 my aunt. Let me go help out my auntie. Hmm? Stop that judging your situation. Oh, what, what, how stupid can you be to sit up there and just let some, you just gonna let somebody toss you to the wolves like that? You just gonna let somebody just have their way with you like that? Why would they like, ooh, why, ooh, I heard this, I heard that, judging. But then lend a helping hand. But see, you know, God said don't even worry about it because not only did you shock, scare, and intimidate people, you surpassed all of them. The three S's. You shocked, scared, and surpassed all your haters. And the wolves that they threw you to, baby, sat back and took notes from you. Huh. JC, back me up. GPR, you with me. You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And go tell the friend to tell the friend to, to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We slide together. JC gang for life. Ain't that something when God work a thing like that? And then the very same people who wanted to have their way with you, now they taking notes on how they weren't able to overcome you, to defeat you, 
to sabotage you. They taking notes, baby. They don't get it because this stuff done worked out for them before. But they didn't understand that you ain't no normal, regular, regular, smegular person out here in these streets, baby. You are a divine being. You are a chosen one at that. And you are heavily, heavily, heavily protected and favored and guided. If people ain't know, I bet they know now. If people didn't know, I bet they know now. I bet they got a clue now. It didn't work. They didn't have your, their way with you. Whatever it is that you are confused about it, that you don't believe about what I'm saying right now, baby, just sit back and let you, look at your situation. Look at others who've gone through the same thing as you. These are these are not people who, who went against you. I'm just talking about randomly, just general. You know that what you went through, that the average Joe don't get through that the way that you did. You, you know that. This you know. You know I don't tell no tall tales. You know that I tell no lies. Huh? You know that I keep it 100 with you. I keep it real with you. I keep it a buck. If I'm coming on here, I was led to say what it is that I'm saying. Baby, they went against you. Yes, they did. If they want to be around you now and flock with you now, it's because they couldn't defeat you. And some of them scared as hell. If you can't beat them, join them. And for the ones who judged you, they want to get the sauce and know the recipe. Because before, I'm trying to tell you something, it didn't happen to people before and it didn't work. It didn't work on you. They trying to take notes on why the hell it didn't work. They threw you to the wolves, didn't expect you to come out leading a pack. But you see how God worked that thing? Nothing, nothing and nobody will ever be able to go against you. What God intended for your life will be for your life. He spoke this over your life. Sit back and let everything unfold. Huh? All you got to do is just keep on walking with him. That's all he needs you to do. It's just to continuously understand. Educate yourself. Pray and keep walking with that man. He handles everything else. All else will fall in place. As long as you just trust in him. Look at what he's done for your life already. You know that he is real. It's spiritual. You made it. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm going to try not to cry on him, but I'm so proud of y'all because I know some of y'all done went through hell some of y'all every day, it's not even that you're not trying to be humble. It's just you sit you sit back sometimes. You be like, thank you, God. 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 Oh, my God. I'm just so, oh, my God. How did I get this? Oh, my God. I'm just so happy, man. I just hope everything just keep going the way that it's been going because I love it. It's going to keep going the way that it's going because you done paid your dues. That man saw everything. Even if he single-handedly check these people or deal with these people, his justice that he delivered to you, right, is that these people were scared, shocked, and you surpassed all of them. That's the justice that he brought you. You deserve it. Because all your life, people have been trying to keep you down and put you down and say what you're not and laugh at you over stupidity, over ignorance. The little smallest thing, people will try to get the one up on you, the one to try to be better or not believe that you could do this or not think that you are capable of doing this. But you're doing it. So I want you to understand that if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need love, you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, baby, you know you got it in me. I come with that real, I don't come with that fake. I keep them 100, I keep it a buck with you. I'm your sister, I'm your confidant. I'm that shoulder that you can lean on, that you can cry on, and I'm that listening ear that you can vent to. You hear me? Reach one, teach one. We ride together, we slide together. JC game for life. And until next time, stay, pray up, and be blessed, my babies. I love y'all.